everyone! In this video, I hope to give clarification to an often talked about skin reaction called purging, how it is different from a breakout, and how to deal with it once it happens. I am Dr. Gator Bredevitas and I'm a board certified dermatologist. I try to post one video a week all about the skin and skincare. So if that's something you are into, I invite you to click the like and subscribe button. I am also on TikTok and Instagram as at Irene Gale, where I post similar content in different formats. I remember back in residency, every time we would give our patients, you know, retinoids or exfoliants in the treatment for acne, we would warn them of the possibility of their acne getting worse before it gets better. We used to call it acne flare. Pero ngayon, there's a name for this reaction that happens to some. It's called purging, and it's not found in textbooks or even in journals. Now, what is purging? Purging is the acceleration of normal process of skin turnover o yung pagpalit ng balat. It is also the shedding of oil, dirt, and debris from the skin. This is why the lesions appear dun sa mga areas na may breakouts na dati or in areas prone to developing lesions because ito yung mga problematic areas and parang minadali lang ng skin mo yung paglabas ng mga lesions. Purging usually lasts on average about 2 weeks but can extend up to 6 weeks. Now, what causes it or why does it happen? Purging occurs when you use something for the first time, a new product or ingredient that speeds up the skin turnover rate. Under this category are your retinoids, your tretinoin, your retinaldehyde, your retinol, adapalene, etc. And your exfoliants like your alpha hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, beta hydroxy acids, and even your uh, PHAs or your polyhydroxy acids. It is also said that benzoyl peroxide can sometimes cause purging. It can also be a consequence of in-clinic procedures like chemical peels, microdermabrasion, and even laser procedures like laser resurfacing. Now, how do you differentiate purging from a breakout? Now, these two look very much alike, but there are differences. First, consider the timing. Did they appear right after you introduce a new product that increases skin turnover rate? If not, then it is unlikely that what is happening is a purge. Second, consider the location. Purging often appears in areas kung saan you already have breakouts and often as clusters or sama-sama or sabay-sabay. And third, how long is the duration? Usually, lesions as a result of skin purging have a shorter duration compared to your usual breakout because they're a result of increased turnover so mas madali silang mawawala compared to your normal pimple or acne lesion. So for example, if your normal pimple heals in about a week, pag lesions from purging, in 4-5 to five days magaling na siya. How can you minimize the risk of purging? Actually, and maybe unfortunately, there's no way of knowing who will experience a purge. But one way to minimize the risk is to try products like retinoids and exfoliants one at a time, introduce them into your skincare routine gradually. For instance, simula ka muna with two to three times a week or every other day. And to use lower concentrations at first, especially if you have oily and acne prone skin. One other option is applying less than the recommended amount first or applying moisturizer before or after the product. For those with reactive or sensitive skin, we may recommend doing patch testing every time you try a new product to see if you will have an irritant reaction to it. Now, what can you do if you're experiencing purging? Once purging has started, there's really nothing you can do to stop it. But there are things you can do to avoid worsening of your condition. First, I recommend continuing using the product that is causing the purge, pero wag mo lang dagdagan ng iba pang potentially irritating ingredients or products. Number two, stick to a simple skincare routine consisting of a gentle cleanser, a sunscreen, in addition to the product that is causing the purge. Number three, avoid manipulating the lesions or touching your face. And number four, occasionally we may recommend additional products to control the inflammation depending on the severity of the purge. So that would include your anti-inflammatories, sometimes your topical antibiotics, etc. Remember that the purge is temporary and your skin should start to improve in about two weeks and should be over by the fourth week or sixth week at the longest. Do note that sensations of itching, stinging, 
burning, prolonged redness, or red bumps are not signs of purging, rather an irritant or allergic reaction. And when this happens, you will need to discontinue using the product ASAP. I hope that clears everything up, but when in doubt, don't hesitate to consult a skin expert like a board-certified dermatologist. So that's it. Thank you once again for watching. If you want to add, share, or ask anything, please put them in the comment section below. And if you want to support me and my channel, please do click the like and the subscribe buttons. I will see you again next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.